I, I think it really makes it very difficult for any sort of uh, uh, an environment in which the Taliban as well as the Afghan government can trust each other. If you're a local villager or you're, you're an ordinary Afghan, you're really paying a heavy price uh, on everyday basis, whether it's the airstrikes, it's the night raids, or it's the Taliban simply coming and occupying your home or your local mosque. So the hope here really is that there will be some progress. Remember, there are a number of sticky uh, issues uh, preventing uh, the Afghan government from talking to the Taliban according to the Taliban. They need a, a withdrawal date. They need the foreign forces uh, to leave the country. Then they will talk to the Afghan government. And we also have to really remember that the presidential elections uh, are to be held in September. So this peace process is also politicized. Uh, and unfortunately for the people of Afghanistan, uh, they really can't afford a single day of, of violence, which is really costing them here in cities and, and across the countryside. Uh, in, in terms of losing family members and in terms of really losing their livelihoods.